All right, so welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to go over um, DRL lights. Plugging in the plug. Make sure it's down, which is on high for me. Connecting the USB plug here. All right, we're going to go ahead and open up Forescan and just put the truck on on. So there's quite a few different options for the daytime running lights. Alright, we're going to go here to the bottom to connect. Make sure the truck is on. Read the warning signs here. We found. I'm going to click no so it resets everything. I wanted to load everything from the very beginning. This reading info, as you can see down here, it tells you what it's doing. Yes, so we do have a medium and high. So we're going to put a medium and click OK. Things loading. Seems like it's loading a little slow, but it's loading. And it's showing us all the control modules that it's finding. Alright, so we're ready. We're going to go over here to the right side and go to the left side and click on configuration and programming. Right, so we're going to go into the body control module right there as built and go down to play or run here. All right, so saying we have to switch this thing to H, which is high. All right, read the warnings. That are the blocks. The blocks load. So there's three different sections that we typically use for all these driving lights. These are the daytime running lights. These are the lights that you that automatically turn on when you're driving down the road without doing anything. The truck automatically knows to turn the lights on. So you can have it turn just the LED lights on, the low beam, the high beam, the turn signals, the fog lights, or parking with some of these also. So the three locations that you're going to go to to, to work with these are 726, 2602, 726, 5001, and 726.45.01. So let's go into 26. Right here. 726.26.02. So this number right here is a number that really tells it to turn on or off. That second digit, a 1 or 0. So I have mine off. I don't like driving lights so I just keep them off Come on, go down. okay we're gonna go down to 45 oh, one more. Okay, so we're gonna go down to 45 okay so 4501 it's gonna be this section here and it's typically the first two digits of the second row that, we, that you mess with those. It's a 7F whenever you want to activate them. All right, and then 50, these right here. Mine's on 108E. And here's, this is the one you can switch to 08, 04, 20, 02, 01, just depending on what you want on. All right, so keep in mind you have to have these things on whenever you have to have it on on here for it to work. So you go into advanced settings. All right, let me see if I can zoom in here some. 
Advanced settings, vehicle. You can go and go into lighting and have the auto lamp delay. Sorry, not the, the daytime running lights on. Here, right there, they're off. Right there, they're on. Okay, it's just to have them on. I'm gonna go back. All right. So now let's see if we can mess with it. Okay, so here are a few samples of what these look like. So this one, first one here is the parking lights only. This is parking lights with the headlights, low beam. This is the parking lights with a turn signal. You can see the turn signal on. This is the daytime running lights, just the fog lights. And here's the one with just the high beams. And then for those of you who like to use the ANSO headlights, here's the ANSO headlights also. You can change it to just white beams, the white halo. All right, so now that we're done, we're gonna just click on the bottom here where it says stop. No, oh, shoot, right here. It says stop. Zoomed in here. And Go back to the little vehicle on the very top and disconnect here in the bottom. Right, safest way to disconnect, and you can just exit out and disconnect. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like.